Hey Fly Tires, welcome back. I'm Matt, and as always, thank you for stopping by the channel. Now, I've got a really cool one for you today. This one's called the Madam X. Now, I didn't know a whole lot about Doug Swisher, the guy who created this thing in the 1980s, but doing some research on the guy, he's really, really a pretty amazing dude. Uh, grew up, or was born, probably grew up in Bay City, Michigan, but somewhere along the lines, he made it out to Montana, fished the Bitterroot River, and that's where he came up with this pattern, the Madam X. Now just check out this thing. Isn't this a really cool looking fly? Think about it. Tie it big enough, it looks like a grasshopper. Uh, in certain sizes, it could be a golden stone fly, a little bit smaller, it could be a yellow sally. Make it darker and change the color of the legs, this can be a cricket. Now, when doing the research on Doug Swisher, found out he's authored 11 books, 1971's Selective Trout and 1975's Fly Fishing Strategy. Now, I didn't know much about these books. I found them used on Amazon. I did order them, so I can't tell you about them yet, but I will be able to in a few weeks. Let me know in the comments if you've ever tied a Madam X or you've fished it and what kind of situations you've fished it in. I've really only used it as a hopper imitation in the summer months, but I'm curious to see if anybody's used it as a stonefly or anything smaller. And if you haven't tied it, hey, take a look at it. I think you're gonna like it. It's really a pretty cool looking fly, so let's give it a shot. Oh, and before I forget, hey, take a look at this. No skunks. I got this for my truck at the fly shop in Idaho. That's all, folks. Stick around, cool fly coming right up. There you go, in the vise, the Madam X. I'm tying this one on a size 10. One of the coolest things about this pattern is you can tie it very big or, you know, fairly small. So this is a size 10. You can use a straight shank hook. It's 2X long. I'm using a curved shank because most of the time when I'm fishing these, I'm doing it as a hopper imitation. So I'll go ahead and put a, a base. I am using yellow. This is 6 aught thread. You can use some pretty thick stuff for this. You can use some pretty thick thread for this. I've done gone as high as 210 denier. First component we're gonna put on is deer hair for the tail. Now a moderately sized clump of it, put it in your stacker. Now we'll open it up with the, the tips back and pull that out. Now think about your tail. It's gonna be about right there. And, okay, I got a little bit of scruff right there. So where I'm gonna catch it in, I'm gonna go ahead, let me move my fingers forward just a little bit more. Got my tail length how I want. And I'm gonna reach right in here and cut it right about slightly forward where my thread is. Now get rid of all of those fibers that fell. We're gonna catch this in right here. Maybe a couple of wraps, pinch wrap, um, maybe some medium wraps. Don't want them to spin on me. I'm gonna to try to keep it from spinning. It's already starting to a little bit, but that's easy to fix this early on. And it's not really that big of a deal if it spins a little bit on you, because this is just the underbody and the tail. So what I will do, I will start taking some medium and open wraps while I keep it on top. See, I'm kind of pulling it with my material hand as I'm taking some open wraps back. Okay, so that is about what I want right there. I'm gonna just put a couple of really tight wraps right back here. There's my tail. Now I'm gonna use this yellow thread and build my body. What you can do, certainly optional, and it might be a little bit quicker, probably not though, is tie in some, some floss right here and build your underbody with that. But it, it takes about 30 seconds and uses about eight inches of thread to build your body with the thread. So that's what I like to do right there. So I think that's fine looking for a, an underbody right there. Or not just underbody, but the body. And the next component is more deer hair. About, this maybe a little bit bigger of a chunk this time. Also want to put it in your stacker. 
Okay, after you've got this deer hair stacked, open it with the tips back again, just like you did for the tail. And I'll show you why. Now pull that out. If you've got any, any scragglies, go ahead and pull them out right here. Measure your tail almost, or, or the wing, almost as long as the tail. So I'm gonna go with about that right there. And I'm gonna switch hands. Now here's the part that takes a little bit of practice getting the length right. You want to cut this maybe an eighth of an inch in front of the eye. Because we're going to fold it over and make a bullet head. Just be careful when you're switching your hands so that they don't get all misaligned on you. And this part is, is a little bit tricky, might take a little bit of practice, is You've got to hold it with your, what's normally your thread hand, you're holding your deer hair and you're spinning the thread with what is normally your material hand. So you just have to kind of flip it over and drop it, pull this tight right here. Now if you cut these perfect, you won't have much trimming to do, which as you'll see here, I did not do. So I'm going to go in here and just trim these a little bit. Okay, that didn't add too much time to the fly. But again, be careful not to let this spin around on you. We want it definitely on the top right here. So I think I've got it on the top pretty well but I, I still need to wrap with my, my off hand to put some tight wraps in here and try to bury these, these tips in here. Now, after you've got a few good tight wraps, you can go back to your, your main thread wrapping hand um, as long as you don't think it's gonna spin on you. And just try to bury these tips right here, building basically a little bit of a thorax right here. And I'm gonna take my thread and this, a couple more wraps forward, because when we flip it over, it's gonna be our head, see? Right there. I'm gonna have a few fibers to trim, but not too many. So after that, our body's still fairly, fairly even, fairly flat. Take your thread and hang it where you want the back of that, that head to be. So I think I've got it right there. Maybe, yeah, right there is gonna work. Now let's flip this over and hold it on top, almost like you were doing a humpy if you've tied those. I will put a couple of loose wraps. Well, I'm still holding it tight right here, still pulling up a little bit before I pull it tight. Now I can put two or three really tight wraps on it right there. And if you got it right, your tail will be the length you want it. And that is pretty much exactly the length I wanted. I've got a couple of fibers right here we're gonna to have to trim, but we'll get to those in just a second. So the last component is some medium round rubber white, you know, tubes for the legs. I will put my front one on. Now put them on a little bit longer than you're gonna need so we can trim them. And I'm gonna put that one didn't stay, so I'll put two wraps, not tight, and then just trim this again a little bit longer than I need and do the same thing on this side. We will adjust them before we really lock them down in just a minute. So there's two wraps on this side. Now the one closest to the camera has four wraps holding it. The one closest to me has two. So I'm gonna cut that. Now adjust them before you really lock them down. The front leg's going down, the back leg's going up. That's just pretty typical of the Madam X. Okay, I like that position right there. I'm gonna put maybe two more really tight wraps right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and trim the front ones so they don't get in my way when I'm doing the whip finish. And maybe a half inch, whatever your preference is, just sticking out a little bit past that head. So I think that's gonna be fine right there. Now I've got room for the whip finish. Just right directly on top of it. Probably three or four turns 
will be sufficient. Now this is pretty thick thread, so I'm gonna have to go in there and snip that. And for the back legs, cut them just a little bit longer than the body, maybe back to the back of the tail. And there you have it. Oh, one other thing, where do we put the, the head cement on this one? Well, actually I don't. I use super glue. I put a small drop right here on this top thread and then maybe, and there's nothing wrong, I've seen folks that put it all up on that head to really you know, secure that bullet head. I typically don't. I just put a drop on the top and the bottom, let it soak in, maybe give it a spin, even it out, and of course go back here and trim these rogue fibers right here. And the Madam X is done. So that's it, folks. I really appreciate you watching. Um, if you liked the video and learned anything from it, I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel. So that's all. We'll see you next time.